<laughs> the guy I worked out with, Brad Carrera, worked for him. And he also worked out at his gym. I used to go to Bill's gym with Brad. Yeah. Um, I, I That's how I kind of got into it was like the bodybuilding. I really like uh, Dave Draper a lot. He's from – he was in Santa Cruz, which is kind of where I'm from. And uh, But but it is, it is interesting, though, that those guys, they're not really that big, though, compared to, you know – power lifters speaking of dave draper i know he passed but um you you know on facebook sometimes you just take a chance and ask someone to be friends and you think it's never going to happen yeah dave (laughs) draper accepted me as a friend and i went and did a big meet i would say i was about 60 and i pulled over six benched over four and he commented at your age, that's incredible. Good job. I was starstruck. Oh, wow, Dave Draper. He liked it. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know him from Adam. And that's the only time he's ever commented on anything. That's cool, though, man. I mean, I I, uh, I actually got to talk to him a little bit. I don't know. If, do you like reading? You yeah. Like read? uh, Dave Draper's writings on training is the best stuff I ever read in my life just because it's like, it's like that reason you got into it type of stuff. You know what I mean? Like he talks about doing chin ups in the doorway and like dips in the with chairs and you know, it, well, it's well like, you know, back in the day he worked out with Bill Pearl. Yeah. He was that Bill same Pearl era, right? some gyms down there and they used to hook up and work out all together. And I know he's worked out with Arnold too. Yes. I've seen yes. pictures. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, but, but I actually, I was trying to get him on the podcast and I guess he, uh, he's a really, he's a phenomenal writer, but he said he can't talk well. Like he said that he, he would fumble his words and he just, he's not a good, you know, you can't find an interview with Dave Draper anywhere. I guess for that reason, you know, Yeah. but I, I really like his his writings, man. You should you should check them out. You know, it's just uh, I don't know. It's like the reason you love training. You know, like it's really well, good. I joined his um, email thing that he used to write every month. Oh yeah, and I, I'm not going to sit here and tell you I've read them all, but I've read a lot of them. I mean, they were long. <laughs> yeah, and. I, I know he knew his stuff. He's a blonde bomber, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the blonde bomber, man. Uh, okay, so l- let's see. Let- let's keep going on your journey. So 26, how big were you at 26? I was actually, I did my first meet in the 198 class. I weighed in at 192. Oh, okay. Wow. So- but I made a huge mistake. I don't know if you know who Jim Kushneri is, but he's uh, he was the manager of Superior Athletic Club. I was weighing about 204, and I went to him and told him, man, I need to lose some weight this week to do this bench press thing I signed up for. And um, he says, okay, meet me Saturday at 7 o'clock at the club. Actually, it wasn't Superior Athletic Club. He was my manager there, but he was also my manager at the YMCA. And so I met him there, and he told me to bring my bike. So I did. We rolled those bikes from the YMCA all the way up to the Applegate. And I made it. And I lost 12 pounds. Wow. It was the hardest thing I ever did. It was that hill from Jacksonville to the Applegate that killed me. Man, that does not seem like a good plan before doing a powerlifting competition. No, I was I was actually lifting about 315, 320, and only got a 300 at the meet and missed 320 twice. Because that took it out of you? I was just weak. And I... I I dieted it by not eating for almost two days. Oh, man. Yeah, that's not good for lifting. Didn't know. Had no clue how to do it. That's crazy, though, that you 